So happy Sabbath everyone. Sabbath. So my name is Adrian Luzong, a third year theology. So who among you here were born in a Seventh-day Adventist family? May I see your hands? Yeah, so there's a lot of you. Uh, I would like to challenge every one of you. I was just baptized December 3, 2011. So, last summer was my 10th voice of youth since I was baptized in PIC. So I was baptized here in AUP. I came here as a Roman Catholic member. Then I am an accountancy student. I would like to share to you how voice of youth changed my life. So, uh, last December 3, 2011, was my second semester of stay in AUP. So first semester, I am just a easy go lucky guy. I don't even know of going to church. I am just there in the dormitory washing clothes while it is Sabbath. So it was my experience. So then, after first sem, second sem, the uh, my co-workers have found out that I am not a Seventh-day Adventist. So they have given me Bible study. Actually, I was baptized on December 3, 2011. Then December 15, 2011, I go for Voice of Youth. So that was my first Voice of Youth in Ternate, Cavite. So after that Voice of Youth, I go to summer candidacy on summer. So in that first Voice of Youth, mind you, I would like to tell you this. I don't even know about the Bible or I have just a background, but I don't know how it would be given to other people. But mind you, I keep a Bible study for my first time. So it was the time that I really thank God because He guided me of giving that Bible study even though I was just a new level of times at that time. Then summer canvassing, after summer canvassing, I go AUB, I go to AUB at the middle of our canvassing, then I shifted to Bachelor of Arts major in theology. So after that, uh, every October, I committed myself because I was a little bit late. If you were born in a Seventh-day Adventist, I feel like a little bit late because uh, according to the English Justice 12 verse 1, remember the youth the Creator in the days of the youth. So, I, I feel that myself was late. I need to serve God as long as I can. So, every October, December, summer, I join Voice of Youth. And the, the reason why, uh, I am just a two and a half years Seventh-day Adventist, but the reason why I reach already 10 Voice of Youth, because I go for two or three Voice of Youth in just one summer. So, I am the speaker uh, where they are my friends there. They are my team in Voice of Youth Tanawan Batangas there. So, first first semester, uh, uh, first Voice of Youth in Tanawan Batangas. Actually, uh, I am the speaker of that time. So, before, I am the only Seventh-day Adventist of our family. We are, just, we are seven, seven brothers and sisters. Then, to tell you the truth at this time, uh, it was my only father who is, who is not an Adventist in our family and all of us, the rest, are already Seventh-day Adventists. Because I go there to, voice, to go for Voice of Youth also in our province of Rublon, then I speak there for my first time. If you hear the testimony of Jerome Iskero in PIC, just two of us, the Voice of Youth team, so he is the coordinator, I am the speaker. So he is uh, processing the program, I am the message. So uh, to tell you the truth, Jerome, Adan, uh, Jerome Iskero was playing a, a guitar while he is leading the sex creation. Then he will lead the opening prayer, then special number, that's it. It's all of him. So I am just the message. So that's my voice of view in our province of Rupland. So I'm so blessed at that time because uh, even though that's the first time I speak there, the people were really amazed because I leave Romdon without even speaking in front. I don't like speaking in front, I just, I just wanted to be silent at the back of any places if I hear some message, I just sit at the back. But they were amazed. And to tell you, 
at that time I go for Boys of Youth in our province, our seats or our chairs were not enough for people to accommodate. So God really blessed us at that time. So um, I, was, I was really blessed because to tell you, uh, in Boys of Youth, my friends, to encourage you is that God will never forsake us. I have been a working student for three years. And to tell you, this semester, I am a full load student because of Boys of Youth. So, uh, God has used people to sponsor your ser his servant to go for Bachelor of Arts major in theology. So, may you continue joining Boys of Youth for in him. God will be with us.